what is this election about? I've been thinking of ways to show this and to discuss it that haven't been raised before. This country is not divided because of Donald Trump. Donald Trump's not even president of the United States right now. Donald Trump doesn't hold public office right now. It's not divided because of him. It's not divided because we are a white supremacist society, because we clearly are not. It's not divided because the right wingers tried to overthrow the government on January 6th. Clearly, that's a lie. Why are we divided? Well, let's see why we're divided. What do the Democrats stand for and what do they oppose? Let's see if we can do this in a way that they can even understand over at the New York Times. The nuclear family. They reject the nuclear family. This transgender, I don't know what it is, movement, the attack on women in Title IX, the attack on men, the attack on the family, that parents should have any role in the raising of their children. They reject the nuclear family. We support it and we defend it. What else? The Constitution of the United States. How many times have you heard it's an old document? It ought to be trashed. It was written by white slave owners. We've got to have the ability to do what we need to do and so forth and so on. And they attack separation of powers and checks and balances. They attack the Bill of Rights, for crying out loud. The First Amendment, a free press, the freedom of association, the free exercise of religion, the right to bear arms, due process only for Democrats, um, warrants, we see how they, how they work with that and try and get around it. Also, uh, the Tenth Amendment, federalism, oh, that's so quaint, but they don't believe in it. The Constitution, we believe in it. They do not. Even before the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, our founding document, which states what really is the basis for Western civilization, unalienable, God-given rights, natural law, natural rights. That's right. And they fought a magnificent revolution so that we could live freely in this country. Well, they attack the Declaration of Independence. They say we fought a revolution to enshrine slavery which is absolute insanity. We support the Declaration of Independence. The Democrat Party today does not. The Supreme Court of the United States is under relentless attack by the Department of Justice for refusing to defend it under Merrick Garland, by the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who's constantly trashing it, Chuck Schumer, who threatens Supreme Court justices, Hillary Clinton, that calls it a right-wing court, making right-wing decisions, and, of course, they want to pack the court so they get what they want. Stalin believed in that, as did FDR. So they don't believe in the independence of the Supreme Court, the only court that is established, actually, by the Constitution of the United States. We do. They do not. It's important to remember these things, folks. What else do they want to get rid of? American history. The country was actually started not in 1776 with the revolution, but 1619. Who says? The New York Times and its reprobates. So forget about these conventions. Forget about the Second Continental Congress. Forget about the Constitutional Convention. We believe in them. They do not. George Washington, one of the greatest statesmen to ever live, they dismiss him as a white slave owner. We embrace him for what he did for the country. Thomas Jefferson, the initial author of the Declaration of Independence, who was actually the third president of the United States, was crucially important in the founding of this nation. They've destroyed his home at Monticello. They've destroyed it. We recognize the great things that Thomas Jefferson did. They degrade him and dismantle everything he's created. James Madison, considered the father of the Constitution, his home is being destroyed with propaganda now. James Madison is to be dismissed. To be dismissed. We think what James Madison and his fellow Constitution writers created is the greatest governing document on the face of the earth. They do not. So James Madison has to go. Even Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator, the man who led this country in a civil war to keep the country together and to eliminate slavery, has been denounced, denounced by the Democrat Party and its radical elements. We support Abraham Lincoln.
the first Republican president. They do not. Critical race theory rejects a colorblind society, rejects unalienable rights for the individual that each person should be viewed by the character of the content, not the color of their skin. They dismiss Martin Luther King. We support and agree with Martin Luther King. The Democrat Party does not. What else? The blue line in this country that ensures that we are a civil society, that protects us, that from marauders in the street who would kill us, who would rape, who would steal, who would burgle. We support the police in this country. They do not in the Democrat Party, the United States military. We can't get our recruitment up. Why? Because they've turned it into a woke experiment. They're undermining our ability to defend ourselves. And they are underfunding the military. We support the military. They do not. What about the classroom? What's going on in our classrooms? Feeding disgusting pornography to our children in our libraries? In our library, it's so disgusting that parents can't even read it in front of school boards. Critical race theory, trying to turn our children into racists and destroy American history and their support and patriotism for America. Uh, we have uh, transitioning courses. We have uh, all kinds of things going on that are perverse in our classrooms with our kids. And most of all, we're told, parents, you butt out. We, the educational bureaucrats, we, the Democrat Party unions, we will take care of your children. And what's happened? Scores have dropped like lead balloons. They are destroying our kids in our classroom. We support the classroom. They use it as an indoctrination mill. What else? They spend like drunken Marxists over there on the Democrat side. All the spending, $10 trillion so far, including the budget. And they said they didn't get everything they wanted. Build Back Better was only a little piece of the action. They've driven down the value of the dollar. They've driven down the value of Social Security checks and pension checks. They are destroying your IRAs and your 401ks. The stock market's dropping. It's dropping dead. Look at gas prices. Through the roof. Through the roof. They have sabotaged energy independence. We support sound money. We do not want to support this kind of profligate debt and spending. But they do. We support the dollar. They don't. Next, energy independence. God gave us resources right under our feet. And capitalism gave us the technology. And the American system gave us red blood Americans who know how to produce and create now like no other people on the face of the earth. Two years ago, we were energy independent. Two years ago, we were exporting fossil fuels. Now we're on our backs begging the Saudis who say no, begging the Venezuelans who are saying no and more having to complain about we can't get oil from Russia. We never got oil from Russia or Ukraine. We never got it from Ukraine. Hollowing out our own industry. Fossil fuels are the center of everything. Whether it's growing food, whether it is producing products, whether it is transporting, it is the, the gold, the liquid gold that we need to be a prosperous and free people. We support it. They have destroyed it. What else? They're killing our manufacturing in America, in part due to fossil fuels. But the price of all goods are going up. You've hollowed out our economy. You've weakened the dollar. You've put your foot on the throat of our energy industry. So what happens? Hardworking men and women on the assembly lines, that's what happens. Their jobs are at risk. And sometimes they just fire them, like with the XL Keystone Pipeline. Working Americans, union or non-union, we support them. The Democrat Party does not. Our farmers, they've warned us there's going to be food shortages. Why? Because fertilizer comes from oil. Because they need tractors. They have to harvest the food. They planted 20% less than they did last year. Not because they want to, because they had to. So we're going to have food shortages. Food price increases that have already started. We were a net food exporter. We exported wheat. We exported soybeans. We exported corn. Now we're hat in hand again. We support American agriculture and the vitality of the farmer. The Democrat Party has destroyed it and is destroying it. What else? That's the United States of America. It's a big globe out there. There's over 190 countries. There's almost 8 billion people on the face of the earth. 
See this? See the outline? Those are American borders. This is American sovereignty. No nation can have a massive welfare state in an open border. Milton Friedman said that half a century ago, and he was right. We're being overrun with foreigners. That doesn't mean we're not humane because we think we ought to have a secure border. It means we believe in survival. Survival of the citizens of the United States. We have fentanyl coming across the border, killing tens of thousands of young Americans. We have drug cartels expanding their bases throughout the United States and pushing drugs on our young people. We have all kinds of sex slavery going on in the, on the southern border and rape, the abuse of children going on on the southern border. It is horrendous. No society can survive this way, which is why no society is doing what we do on its border. Not one. Not one. We believe in a secure border, and we believe in our immigration laws. The Democrat Party does not. Open borders, open season on America, and most of all, we believe in the United States of America. We believe in our history. We believe in our founding. We believe in our institutions. We believe in the ability to become more perfect, to modify what's been within the structure of our constitutional system. We believe the American people are the greatest people on the face of the earth because we've created and established the greatest country on the face of the earth. The Democrat Party does not believe that. The Democrat Party believes America is too good, too big, too powerful, and they are destroying us from within. They don't even like the American flag. We do. Many of us have relatives who went to war carrying that flag. Now, it should be pretty clear by now what this election is all about. Every one of their candidates is a radical. Every single one, even the ones who pretend not to be. Fetterman in Pennsylvania, Warnock in Georgia, Beasley in North Carolina, Kelly, the phony moderate in Arizona, radical. Ryan, the phony moderate in Ohio, radical. Hassan in New Hampshire, radical. Murray in Washington State, radical. Demings in Florida, radical. McMullen, phony Democrat is what he is, radical. And Lisa Murkowski? She dresses like a Republican. She's a radical, too. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.